Now, hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you two things that you should do every single time you work in Power Query. Well, one you can do it and you know keep it on. The other one you need to do it all the time. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, guys. This came two months ago, so I think you need to have at least the August update for this thing to work. And is change type. You know that sometimes when you're doing things in Power Query, you get the change type step automatically. And it's been annoying me since the start for two reasons. Number one, it shows up most of the times when you don't want it and it just clutters your steps. It's just change types everywhere. And then I have to go and backtrack it. The good thing is that you can actually remove that. Let me show you right away. So if you go to File, Options and Settings and Options, Again, you need to have at least the August update. So you go to there and then global data load. Here, there's a new feature called never detect column types. Turn it on, turn it on and forget about it. It's a lifesaver. The second reason why this is a lifesaver is because change types step hard code the column names. So if your column name changes and depending on the type of data cleaning you're doing, it will probably change. It will break your query and you will get zero data. Okay. So turn this on, but you still are left when you're cleaning the data and you're creating calculated columns or custom columns. You will see that, you know, you, you let me show you, let me show you. We're going to create a, 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 a custom column. I don't know. Let's say that we want to multiply unit price. You should do this in DAX, but as an example, times units in order. Okay. You create it, and then you will see that it doesn't get a type. Okay. Because we haven't specified a power query. I don't know why you can't detect it. It should be able to detect it by itself, but the thing is that it doesn't. So. What you need to do then is to add an extra step and say decimal number. And then here you have the famous change type. What happens? I change the name in here for whatever reason, and then go to change type, and this is going to break my query for sure. So there is a way, and this actually is something that you guys told me. I'm so sorry that I don't remember where, which comment. If you are the one that did it, tell me that. Pin your comment. But anyhow, for other customs, you can actually add the type of the column already in here. So you just write comma type number. And look at this. So now if I change back the name of the column, you'll see that nothing breaks because there's nothing that is referring to a hard coded column. And this works 99% of the time. So make sure that you add the, the type of column when you're creating new columns right from the go. So you don't have to start, you know, doing changing types. Now, if you have to do changing types, do it as the last thing to do, because if it breaks, at least it's easy for you to see where it broke, probably, you know, at the end when you change the types. So it is a quick tip. It's saving me hours of work just knowing that my queries will not break that much. It's, lo it is, it's really, really good. You know, sometimes when doing development, you're doing it very quickly and you forget one chain type here and there. Now I know that they will not get generated and then I can actually add them on the fly by myself. So I hope this trick is useful to you too. I will see you on Friday again with another Dax Fridays. I don't know where it's going to be, but until then, as always, take care and bye-bye.